Welcome to the Vitrox booth here at IPC Apex Expo. Uh, I'm joined by Richard Osborne. Nice to see you, Richard. Good to see you, Trevor. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Right. Okay. So, you know, you're very well known in the inline x-ray business. Uh, you're also in the AOI business, but the, the star of the show we're going to talk about today is your V9. Uh, tell us a little bit about the V9. Sure. The V9 has absolutely been the, the star of the show. Um, it has two primary functions. We can do conformal coat with it, or we can do final inspection with it. Um, there's actually three different ways it can be configured. It can be configured as solely a conformal coat system, or solely as a, uh, I'm sorry, let me back up, a conformal coat with thickness measurement, or it can be done as a, a final inspection system. Or the third conf configuration is as a conformal coat and final inspection system. When configured like that, the only thing that you have to give up is the thickness measurement. There's just a limited amount of space within the inspection head for all the sensors required. Right. So, I mean, I think the beauty of the, the V9 is, is its flexibility. It, the, you can turn it to any angle. It's not, it's not encumbered by... Uh, the height of the components or anything like that. So it's certainly flexible. Um, on the thickness measurement side, um, what what sort of accuracy does it have and, and uh, uh, tell us how that works. Is it laser based or how does it work? Sure. No, we use a uh, confocal light for the thickness measurement and the accuracy uh, is plus or minus five microns with this. So. Um, Again, the advantage with this is that it's not like a traditional AOI uh, with a box that actually goes in the line. This is a collaborative robot, so it can go over the, the, the uh, conveyor and really adds a lot of flexibility for the customers. So the other area you're using it in is the final box build area, which has right. always been a very labor-intensive area. So, so this is ripe for, for automation of some form. Uh, tell us some of the advantages for using it in, in the box build area. Sure. Well, with, as with all of our equipment, the, the advantage is the automation that it provides. Uh, there's a tremendous labor savings to the customer. So with the final inspection, as you're calling the box build, um, we can inspect the board before it goes out to the customer. So after the board's gone through each step in the process, we want to verify that parts, SMT parts, haven't been damaged or knocked off of the board. So we're inspecting for that. But we're also inspecting for to make sure all of the appropriate screws are in place, um, the uh, labels that may need to be on there, uh, uh, heat shields, heat sinks are on there. Basically everything as it should be before it goes to the end customer. And it's, it's very easy to program and uh, it do, no longer requires an individual sitting there comparing what, what, it is, what it's supposed to be. And so just out of interest, how popular has that been in, in the U.S. market? It, it, it's hugely popular. Um, we, uh, we wore out two of our engineers yesterday doing demos with this. Uh, this show has been fantastic for us. So it's been very popular. In particular, um, we are seeing uh, interest in this in the mill arrow arena, but also huge interest in the EV market. Very big demand there. Well, I mean, the thing is, the minute you bring automation into any process, you you get rid of, unfortunately, not just the labor content, but the the uh, some of the the defects that, say, that tend to creep in when, which is natural, and yes, when sir. you've got people doing things. Yes, that's absolutely correct, and that's that's a big part of this. So, what I I kind of call this a gross AOI. So, uh, again, we can do absence, presence, polarity. We can do some simple solder inspection, but you're never going to do the same real high-level solder inspection as you would do in our AOI system. But that's not really the, the, the application for it. 
Um, just before we, we, we leave you, Richard, one other thing I wanted to touch on is that uh, you're obviously well known for the for the inline uh, X-ray systems. Yes, sir. Uh, your your latest version that you brought out, the S3 AXI of the uh, this is the the uh, on the V810 platform yes, um, has got uh, some amazing capability. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It, it sure does. So we're introducing the uh, Series Three. Uh, VA-10 here at the APEC show and the primary benefit to the Series 3 over the Series 2 is a further improvement in cycle time and speed. So we typically are always the fastest from an inspection standpoint as it is now but we've taken that a step further with the Series 3. There are some uh, mechanical changes to it but from a customer perspective um, the, the improvement really is in the cycle time. Um, we are not discontinuing the Series 2. Um, that will continue to be uh, the most popular system here in the U.S. Um, the, the, one of the advantages that we have is the range and board size that we can do. We truly have a system that can go up to 52 by 52 inch board inspection. So it actually is larger than this entire booth. Uh, obviously, that's not a very common system, but we have everything from that to a standard uh, size board requirement. So we've got a solution for everybody. So these big, massive 5G boards that are out there, yes, there's no problem at all? Not a problem at all, and, it, and that's a great thing that you brought up, is that we actually are uh, uh, working directly with a, uh, two of the major connector suppliers for the 5G. Uh, in relation to x-ray inspection and that's one of the reasons why we've been very blessed and very fortunate to have uh, sold so many of these systems not only here in the US but worldwide. Well it's a wonderful company Vitrox. I've, I've, I've been to Malaysia and I, I, honestly I, I'm, I'm super impressed with it and uh, I'm also super impressed with the technology so I want to thank you for telling us about it today Richard and uh, wish you the best of luck with the uh, your sales going forward. Uh, thank you very much, Trevor. Again, I really appreciate the opportunity and uh, have a great day.